Good afternoon, I'm in Donegal today and I'm back in the Derry Vey Mountains and perhaps on a slightly more sexier side, some people might say, uh, with the big tops like Arigal. Uh, and the plan today is to take in a new top and explore some lovely quarry locks that I've never been around before. Well, this area is sort of crisscrossed by a number of old bog roads used for cutting peat and that's still happening so uh, our turf as, as it would be called um, and I suppose turf has been a when, you, when you're out in, in, in sort of west of Ireland you can smell it um, and it's a staple fuel that people would sort of burn in, in their open fires uh, though there's there's loads of conversation now around sort of how sustainable or um, how ethical that is um, based on I suppose these, these peatlands and the amount of carbon at the store um, certainly uh, uh, when it's been done on an industrial scale which, which it has in some parts of the west of Ireland uh, but hopefully that's, that's stopping um, so these, these bog roads are pretty cool uh, they're giving me a wee bit of relief from the bog, uh, which I suppose is what they're all about. Though uh, I, I do think I'm going off the slog over quite a bit of bog, so it's going to be a bit of pain before the gain, uh, before I reach the heights, and, and that's just the way it is, I think, with this route, but that's okay. It's like the Borg Olympics here. So there's uh, loads of ditches you have to jump. And there's this sort of where they, they've cut the peat face where you have to sort of jump down. So I'm a wee bit out of breath with all the jumping about. Uh, I'm not sure what medal I'm going to get either. <laughs> It finally feels like I'm getting somewhere. <laughs> so this is Loch Moyle. Um, and that lovely mountain which has been bathed in sunshine for uh, for quite a while is Muckish Mountain. Uh, and where am I going? I'm going over there. So that's Crochna Laraag. Uh, and that's the mountain I haven't been up before. So uh, maybe seem like a bit of a convoluted route and lots of bog tramping but I'm gonna uh, go up that ridge up to the top, follow along the top and then drop down to the call and there's a, a curry lock in there and then uh, the climb up. Uh, There's where I'm climbing up, Crocna Larach, and the views over the Muggage have actually really opened up now that I'm up in this ridge. Uh, and that is just an iconic mountain, absolutely stunning mountain. at the summit of Krokna Laraak uh, and it's 471 meters so I'm glad to have gotten here um, and just fantastic views as you can see there over the Muckish Mountain and if I swing round that's back over to uh, Aglamore where I'm heading next 
and there's actually some really nice cool views open and up out east to the other big line of the Derry Vey Mountains, sort of from Dewish uh, down to Sleeves Nacht, uh, looking absolutely glorious in, in the evening light. And there's a couple of fantastic locks up here as well. Um, and I'll walk back past those and, and, and get a get a view of those as well. Uh, but this this is a crack and wee hill, uh, and it's a spot where you you can easily uh, sit down for the night. Okay, I am going to do this. I'm going to keep count of the locks I visit on this trip. So I visited Loch Mall, uh, away down in the bog. And this is Loch Keel, up here on Crockna Larag. So this is Loch number two. And it's really, really cool. <laughs> Not a breath of air. The sun just shining. Uh, really, really strong, sort of late April sun. Uh, just absolutely beautiful. Lock number three, Lock Nadrigar. Uh, probably my favourite one so far, just lovely nestled down in there with Akla Moore in the background. Uh, and I was trying to remember the last time I was sort of counting things uh, and it was when I was in Melmore Head and I was counting the number of beaches uh, so this is maybe going to be something similar today so that's lock number three Okay, the next one is Loch Alurig. That's Loch number four. And it's by far the biggest and I think most impressive. So this sits down in the call between Cro Crocna Larag and Akla Moor, which is up there. And that's the climb I have ahead of me now. <laughs> so uh, it looks uh, pretty steep and unrelenting. Uh, but again, everything today is going to be worth it because uh, when I get up there, I'm going to stay up there all night. Uh, there's another lovely big lock up there where I can get water. And look at the views across uh, the mountain. You can see just across at the end of the lock, that's Dewish Mountain. And that's a fabulous mountain. And I've, I've wild camped up there a couple of times. Um, absolutely fantastic. Now, that was tight, just steep, unrelenting and wet. Uh, that's back down to Loch Alurig, uh, back over to Crocknallarach, muckish in the background. Uh, but I'm, uh, I'm nearly up uh, <laughs> and I may have missed the sun going down. I'm going to head over there and see what I can see. Well, I'm at the summit of Akla Beg. And this is um, 564 meters. And that's looking out to the west over the Atlantic, just where the sun has set, and all the wee islands out there. A lovely, lovely evening. 
So what's the plan? Um, I actually got my Aglas mixed up. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I thought this was Agla Moor, uh, but uh, this is Agla Beg. So Agla Moor is the hill over there, and the hill behind it is Erigal. And if you can see, there's there's a lock over there. That's Loch Fian. So I'm going to head there, and I'm going to come beside the lock uh, to get some water for for cooking and tea, which, uh, as as you know, is. Uh, um, non-negotiable requirements <laughs> they need to be there um, so I should get over there before it gets dark and, and the usual setup and, and get everything on the go um, before we get the Loch Fian that's um, now Breck Barry down there so that is lock number five and obviously then lock fuel will be lock number six beautiful 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 so i've got my spot um again run out of time <laughs> um so uh, I'd, I'd intended to maybe camp up the top of uh, Agla Moor, but just uh, don't have the time to do that. I uh, would have got water here and then went up. Um, so I've just found a spot above the lock, Loch Fian. Um, I'm going to set up here, uh, grand, uh, fairly level, good ground, um, and a crack and fuse. <laughs> Um, and look at that um, sky still absolutely gorgeous um, so we'll get set up here and then I'll nip down the lock and, and fill my two water bottles and I'll, I'll get me, me food and, and drink on the go half ten uh, no moon so <laughs> uh, it looks like it'll be a clear sky with stars uh, it is getting pretty chilly <laughs> um, as you would expect uh, with, with a northerly breeze uh, and, a, and a clear sky uh, so I, I've just had something to eat and drink and that, that's me set for the night um, and uh, I'll see you in the morning Good morning. Uh, <laughs> um, it was a cold one last night. 
uh, breeze got up uh, there was actually a bit of frost on the ground this morning uh, but I, I had uh, my gloves on over my, my feet so that, that kept me okay uh, and I think I had a decent night's sleep in fact I know I had uh, the sky did stay pretty much clear um, and the moon did rise it, it was after midnight and it stayed fairly low in the sky so it was quite bright uh, this morning uh, there's a wee bit of cloud hugging some of the tops which is quite cool sort of flowing over uh, it, it is still pretty cold uh, that breeze is really really biting uh, there's over to Agla Moor, where I'll be, uh, it's what I packed up, I'll be heading up there. And there's down to Loch Fein. Uh, so really, really uh, fantastic looking morning and day to come uh, for uh, the wee bit of dander I still have to do. So I'm all packed up and I think it's good to say it every time but leave no trace. Uh, I think that reminds myself as well. So again you shouldn't know that I've actually been here at all. That was quite a drop of uh, Acklemore. I think it was about maybe 400 meters. So uh, a, a good way to start the morning. <laughs> um, but I, I'm down now at uh, Loch Altan, and this is just an absolutely beautiful place. Uh, absolutely stunning. And look at that beach. Wow. If you had a car park here and, and a road to it, it would be bunged all the time. Uh, and if you can see in the background there, that's the remains of the old farmhouse. Uh, there used, used to be like a, a, an old farm here away, at goodness knows how many years ago. Uh, but just in ruins now. I've actually camped here once before. And that was the last time I was here. And that was probably about three years ago. So uh, it's well, well due a return. And... I, I've dropped down and the wind has dropped down as well so I've uh, I've got my fair weather hat on again and I've taken my, uh, my other beanie off this morning uh, and my hood and I was wearing a small that bite that wind this morning was really really biting uh, and as I say though the, there was a frost in places just uh, well there was a bit of a shelter from the wind um, so this, this is a lot more pleasant now <laughs> that, that I've come down um, and have a wee bit of climbing up there to do and then I have another lock to visit which I'm a bit excited about visiting or maybe two more I'll, I'll see the second one involves a wee bit of climbing I'll probably go there as well
And would you believe it? Uh, <laughs> there's litter here. Um, at this beautiful spot. Uh, <laughs> so I'll lift that as I usually do. Um, just in, in line with the Mount Nathan Ireland Take One From The Hills campaign. So that's one less piece of litter in the hills just by me taking a couple of seconds to lift that. the inside of the old farmhouse and you can see there's not much left inside and this actually had two stories you can see there's one two fireplaces I don't know if it had like a, a third sort of story in the top, but um, look at that. We've climbed up from um, Loch Altan and this is Behe Mountain. That's the underneath two meters. And I'm gonna drop back down to the loch I was talking about. So that's um, Loch Nabehe uh, down there. I've never been down at it before and it just sits at the base of uh, Magnock Mountain. Full as this. <laughs> There's a wee stream running out at the uh, at the end of the lock here. There's actually a wee spot here where you, you could probably get a bivy bag down. Uh, but it's just lovely down here. Uh, there's Mark Knocked, and there's Arigal, and there's loads of people standing up on the ridge and the summit of Arigal. Uh, I, I can see them near off like a queue uh, at the top, which which is cool. You know, it's it's a fantastic viewpoint up there. Um, it was a lot more peaceful down here. <laughs> this is Loch Nabrak Barry. Uh, and this is probably the smallest lock that I'll visit on this trip and it's number nine but it's probably in the most scenic location just nestled between Erigal and Macknocht uh, lovely spot Just look at those scree slopes. That's the eastern face of Arigal Mountain. Absolutely stunning. Nearly sheer. I started uh, 
uh, trot through the bog and use new old bog roads and I'm doing the same on the way out so this, this is quite a good uh, if wet sort of bog road that leads towards the northern side of Arigal and I've used this a couple of times before when I've climbed up Arigal from the north um, and, and it's, it, it's sort of providing a, uh, a good way for me to, to go out of the hills It's quite scenic as well. So it's been a really, really good couple of days. Um, pretty much followed the route that I planned. Uh, took in one new top. Uh, there's not many tops here in the Derry Vase I haven't climbed, but um, Crocna Larak uh, was certainly one of them. And I, I've climbed it and visiting all those wee locks. That, that was uh, what I planned to do. So, sort of going off the beaten track a wee bit. I'm not just sticking to the mountain tops. Uh, and, and I've managed nine so far. Um, there's actually a lock where I've parked, Proclus Lock. So, I, I'm going to give it a score of 10 for the number of locks. Um, fantastic weather. Uh, brilliant evening yesterday evening. Uh, cloud cleared, uh, fantastic sunset, bitterly cold last night, uh, with biting easterly wind and, and out of the wind there was frost so it was certainly down to freezing and I, I did have my gloves on my feet and, and I think that sort of saved uh, the, the, the comfort zone a wee bit and then absolutely beautiful this morning as well, um, fantastic sunrise and it's been, it's been really cool all day, uh, if, if not uh, cold, cool, cold at times with the breeze, but lower down, like our, where I'm at now, um, it, it actually does feel quite warm. So, uh, not a good trip, and again, uh, it pays to get out, and I think it pays to try something different as well. Lock, 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 lock. 